Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. My name is Canelo Siraco and welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, so let's get right into it. Um, I am using a 16 by 16 inch canvas. Now, for those of you who get your canvases at Michael's, you know they do not have 16 by 16 inch, at least not here in Canada. Um, so this one here I ended up getting from uh, Desairs in Montreal or Quebec or wherever it is the store is. I think it's Quebec. Anyways, um, it's called a pollen. Um, so yeah, it's a 16 by 16 inch. Um, I'll be honest, they're not my favorite canvases and I probably won't buy them again. Um, oh, why did I do that? <laughs> so I've taped the back, but they're not gallery wrap. Like they're not the canvas you can see here right they're not my favorite canvases now i gotta put this back because i had this all leveled and like a goof i picked it up and i forgot there we go okay so yeah 16 by 16 inch canvas and so what i'm gonna do is uh i'm going to flood my canvas with my um artist loft flow acrylic white it's the 2019 version um, so I'm flooding it with this and my paints and my paints and my squeeze bottles, my colored paints are mixed with water and Floetrol and you can find the ratios and how I mix my paints. For those of you who are new watching in video number 63, I will link it up here at the top. All right. Just trying to see if my camera is there. Looked crooked to me. All right. So um, today's colors I'm using are actually inspired by one of my students from my workshop last weekend. She put all these colors together and I'm not going to lie, I looked at them and I said, Grandma, I don't know, <laughs> these colors look really crazy, but you never know what's going to happen. And it was my favorite piece in the entire class. Um, it was gorgeous. If you're on Instagram, you would have seen it on Instagram. I posted it there. I made one slight modification and I'll tell you what it is, but let's start with the colors first. So we have Mauve by Holbein, okay? And Rama had picked Teal Green by Deco Art, but I didn't wanna use a Deco Art paint. Um, so what I did was I picked a color that was close to it, but without a shimmer, obviously. So what I did was, this is my Tiffany Blue. I've mixed, I've made this color myself. It is Amsterdam's um, uh, turquoise blue, but I lightened it a lot with a lot of titanium white from Amsterdam. So I made my own color and I call it Tiffany blue. So that is what I'm using instead of the teal green. Uh, then I'm gonna use a very little of the 24 karat gold by Deco Art. And then we have greenish yellow by Amsterdam. That is a really pretty color. And actually these two colors together are super pretty. Okay, then we have metallic cobalt blue by Artist Loft. And then topping it off, one of the favorite colors was uh, blue black indigo by Atelier. So those are my colors. And when I looked at them, I was like, I don't know, but, and this is what I like about my workshops. Everybody has their own imagination and their own color palette ideas and they do them and they're colors that I probably would have never put together and then they blow them out and I like, whoa, I really like that color. So there were a few other ones that I liked a lot and I might do those in a future video, but for now I'm gonna do this. And of course I'm going to be using my flower hair dryer. Um, you get it at Amazon, no, you get it at walmart.com. In the US, it's Flower is the name and it is sold by Drew Barrymore. She is the creator of the Flower Hair Dryer. So those are my colors. I am going to put them back here. I am going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. I am ready to go, canvas flooded. 
um, bubbles popped. So today's design, I'm going to do an L shape. I had a few people do it in my class um, last weekend and it's been a while since I've done one. So I'm going to do that. And because this is like the perfect square canvas, that is what I'm going to do today. So let's start with the mauve. And I'm not going to go too close to the edge because then you're just going to end up blowing it off anyway. So we're going to do this and then that. That's it. I want to have a lot of negative space. That is my goal is to do negative space there in the corner. All right. What a pretty color. That is so pretty. All right. Uh, what day is it today? Uh, Wednesday night for me. You guys are watching this on Thursday. Um, I have a video on Sunday, um, but it might be a pre-recorded one. Um, we're not in town, so uh, Sunday is Sophia's birthday. So if in Sunday's video I don't get to mention it, uh, Sophia is turning nine. She's turning nine. Last year of single digits. She's turning nine on Sunday. Where does the time go? Feels like she's turning 19 sometimes with, you know, her little sassy attitude and all of that. But girls will be girls, right? All right, these colors are down. I'm going to pop the bubbles. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna blow into the center and then I'm going to work my way and then work my way and then we'll see what happens. So let's just start here and go in, let's get going. I love these colors. I love the colors. Now I lost a lot of color here and I'm very irritated about that because the rest of this is so rich in color, but I lost a lot of the color because of the way I blew it out over here. So I wonder if I were to add a strip of color here, but I don't want to ruin it either. And then this little guy sticking out here, I don't like, I don't like. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to bring him back like so. I love doing this. It's just like your finger acts like an eraser. Look at that. Just literally put my finger on the tip of the top of the paint surface and that's it. Um, I'm loving this a lot. Now, I wonder if I blow right here into this white, what will happen? So, let me try that at least. Okay, I think that helped a little bit. I don't want to mess with it too much because I really don't want to ruin the rest of this. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to just fix the edge here a little bit. Wow, this is really pretty.
I wanted to break that up. That looks really pretty. This is crazy. This is really colorful, very colorful. And I'm not going to touch anything else on this, to be honest with you. So I am going to fix my edges and yeah, I'll be, I really like the negative space. That was my goal was to have a lot of negative space. I, hmm, I want, now I wonder if I should do just like a pop of color on this side. I did a video a while back where I did the same thing and I had the same question in mind and I thought, do I do a pop of color on this side? And um, I didn't end up doing it. And I'm wondering now if in this video, I should do it. I wonder. I wonder if I was just to put a little puddle here and just blow a little bit right here. Ah, what should I do? What should I do? Let's see, all my colors are still lined up the way I had them, like so. Um, I don't know what I should do. Maybe just like a little bit right here. Oh, I wish you guys could like tell me right now. As I like, I'm thinking about that, but I'm worrying about this. See, I'm not liking this canvas very much. It's pulling away from my edge here and it's probably because this canvas is pretty crappy. Sorry, excuse my language. Yeah. I have a bunch of these canvases and I really need to just use them up. Basically what I'm doing is I'm blowing a little bit of the excess paint over the edge, but I have a feeling it's just going to continue to pull up off the edge for, and this is why I don't like these canvases. Um, so in that case, you know what? I am going to do a little color here. Why not? I might as well just go for it at this point. So little strip, just little strips I'm going to do. Little strips. Let's see how this is going to work out. I figure I might as well, because I, I don't know how this painting is going to dry, to be honest with you, because this canvas is not greatest quality, unfortunately. And I can't return them because they were ordered online, you know, so I cannot take them back. All right, we'll see what happens. I might not even use the hair dryer for this part. I might just blow it with my mouth. All right, I will pop the bubbles. All right, I'm gonna blow it from over here. And let's see what happens. Hopefully my big head doesn't get in the way. There we go just one little corner I actually really like that now I'm just going to play with the sides here like this I'm just gonna help it along like so okay and the side here like that I actually really like that I like that I did that some of you probably are like, no, I don't like that you did that. Oh, well, I did it anyway. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think it looks better. I do. So now I'm going to just fix my edges a little bit and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So here it is. And don't forget, as usual, take your stick and scrape 
those drips, all right? Do it all the way around, all four sides, come back 10 minutes later, do it again and again. So now this is what I'm talking about. It's the canvas. It's just such a junky canvas. So I'm not really happy with that, um, the way the edges are pulling away. The paint is pulling from the edges. Like I can keep blowing that over the edge, but it's still just going to um, pull away. So it is what it is. Um, I still really like the piece in general, though. Um, I really do uh, like the colors a lot. And I'm actually really happy I did that top corner there. So I'll bring you guys in for a close up. And then like the colors, it's just very colorful. That yellowish green from Amsterdam is a new color I just recently got. And it is a really pretty color. There's a lot of cells going on in here. It's pretty. And of course, that blob there. So let me turn the lights off because there's going to be some shimmer for sure. Okay, lights are off, flash is on, and there's definite shimmer on this piece. So, you know, I'm still going to resin it. Wow, there's a lot of shimmer in here. It's going to get a top coat of crystal resin. Don't forget, if you want to order crystal resin, you can do it at crystalresin.com and you can save 5% off your order using code canela 5 There's a lot of shimmer in this, for sure. I'm really liking that. And these cells, that looks so cute. Really, really like it. All right, let's get back to the lights. So there you have it, everybody. I would like to know what you think about this color combo in the comments below. And let me know, do you like that I added that little corner? Or should I have left it as is? I'm curious to know what you guys think. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, if you are new watching and you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love it and greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And everything you need to know is listed in the description below. There's discounts to Loli Vefi, to Crystal Resin, all kinds of things. So that is it for now, guys. Until next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.